All right, let me show you what I've done and I'll explain to you why I did what I did. So in a way, I've kind of built ourselves a levee right through here. We already know that a lot of water is gonna come off the roof of the barn. It's gonna come down and it's going to, for the most part, flow this way over here towards the pond. So we have an opening for that water to flow out of there. Now, the problem that we're having is not so much the barn runoff. That's just minor, that's, that's, that's minor. What we're having though is there are several of these little ditches that come out of the deeper woods here, little low spots. I'll try to showcase one of them for you over here. And I'm watching where I'm stepping because of snakes. But uh, no, so these little low divots over here form somewhere out in them woods and all of that wa running water flows into these little low spots. Then they come rushing down and they'll rush right through here. They'll come all in this corner over here and just have flowing water. It's gonna flow right down through here. It gets this, this mound of stuff. I don't know what this little stuff is, it's a mound. And that water though, it keeps coming. So it'll push to this side and push to this side. Uh, when it pushes to this side over here, what's happened is it's begin to flow right towards the barn. So in building this little wall, this wall of hay and dirt and just junk, we're hoping that that water will hit here and then push that way if it needs to, to go on towards around the pond. Or if it decides to go this way over here, we don't know yet. It'll hopefully flow along this backside and then it goes, we have another channel that forms over here. But either way, we're bypassing our barn. If it comes along through here, it doesn't go under the walls and come back up. There's, don't forget there's concrete that thick over there. So it'll come over here. From this spot here, it flows down through here back towards the pond. So we have a plan. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll have to wait and find out. But uh, that's what you have to do when you live in terrain that's not flat. You're always trying to figure out ways to help prevent your erosion and flow of your water. So we'll hope this, we hope this holds and this helps. And we're gonna find out in the next couple of days for sure. We're also putting a one by six to give us six additional inches of water flow. Babe, hey, don't ship it out, don't ship it out. To, we're going screw. to this is a one by six that we screwed into the so now that will give us an additional six inches so water can flow and flow right on down through there and through the pond um now there will be some water that will drip and blow inward we can't prevent the drip and the blow if this three foot of tin over here doesn't stop that then you know you can't really control too much of that without having a gutter up here and that may be the next step is to get us a gutter that will pull water all the way from the whole barn and drop it off over here when she gives it a straight flow towards the pond if the horses came over here they can step over that oh yeah oh yeah horses this can step over this fine yeah no horses. we're not going to stop the horses from coming in here look at these guys no reason for all this running i guess they're horses and they're just going to run that's fine but there's no reason for it. Oh no, here comes Voodoo too. And Bucky's. Rita, don't fall, please don't fall. My biggest fear is something happens and they end up falling. I know they're just playing and they're horses. You can't stop them, they're like kids. But uh, oh, it scares me. They're so happy. Oh, that Rita. Yo. Oh, that Rita. Look, they ran to the barn for no apparent reason. No reason. It's not time to eat. <laughs> oh, I love her. I love them all, but she just has a really special place in my heart, y'all. I think you know that. So, Voodoo came up for a drink of water. Fresh water. He needed some fresh water. He's not going to walk up and get some fresh water. He's going to run. And then Rita was excited about doing anything. She was just so, so bored. She just needs a good run. And now she's in her stall. Well, she was in her stall. Now she's going to run again.
Oh, there they go. I just think, uh, I think Stormy's trying to calm her down. Like, you need to settle down. Just settle it down, Rita. Settle down, Rita. Just settle down. Rita, settle down. But Rita just cannot settle down for anything. Well, the water is so muddy because, well, we had water pouring into our pond from all over the place last night. Nine inches of rain in a matter of a couple of hours was just too much for our pond to handle. And as you can see, uh, our spillway has once again been an ultimate fail. I don't know what we're going to do here. We're going to have to probably do what many of you guys have suggested. And we'll have to pump the pond, pump it down several feet lower, and then do concrete. Get a concrete, just kind of doop, doop, and then concrete it all the way down to where that flow of water can't continue to wash things away. It would just be water coming over, not pushing all of our clay and our rock along. We've lost a lot of rock here overnight now of course you can see where it's all been pushed over here but it also goes into and underneath the um, driveway and the water pressure was so great that you can see rock i mean this is large rock the bull rock all the way across in the creek on the far side where it's pushed it all the way down please be careful sweetie as i'm standing here i can still hear clumps of clay falling into the water below and that's what's going on is the movement of water over the spillway. Trixie, back up. Just pushes and it begins to kind of wash that clay out. And then the rock on top just crumbles. So we are going back to the drawing boards. Well, let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. So the good... For the most part, and I will say for the most part, the levee that I built held true all the way through here. That worked out amazing. And so we did have some channeling coming through over here. I'll show you some video. We did have some channeling through here. But luckily, the board that Jamie and I put kept the water out of the barn for the most part, for the most part. And the reason I'm not concerned about this over here is because we had nine inches of rain in a very short period of time. And so when you get that kind of rain, you're not going to stop everything. Oh, Lord, look at this. One of the barn kitties. Um, you're not going to stop at all. But you can still see the water flowing from this hill and it hits the levee and it pushes it right along the side of the barn and out towards the pond it goes. Here was my problem. You can see right there, there was so much rain flow that it washed my levee out. Right there, it washed the levee out on both sides. And so that allowed a lot of that water to come channeling down through here, which we can, I can easily address that and reinforce my levee. But uh, the horses, their feet stayed dry for the most part. There was some blowing wind and some blowing rain. And so the pine shavings are damp. We will muck out the stalls here in a little bit. We did bring more, more pine shavings in. So we have stuff to replace that with. You don't want your horses standing around in wet, mucky stalls, obviously. And then I will say one last thing before I let you go. It's about the fact that we're blessed that even though we did have a lot of water coming through here, as of this morning, a few hours after the rains, most of the water has already washed on out. We don't, it's not just going to stand. We don't have standing water. It's still flowing water. It's not standing. And that's good. 
So crazy night. We've learned a lot more about the property and the layout of the property. And we're still going to, well, go back to the drawing boards on our, our spillway. All right. Thank you all for watching, friends. We love you. And y'all have a wonderful day. We'll catch you on the next video. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.